I'm going to share with you today seven different ways that you can earn a passive income and not all of them are online. There are definitely lots of ways you can earn a passive income offline. Now here's the disclaimer. Some of them are going to require different amounts of effort, money, and time. Um, the, the rule of law, the more you put into some into something, the more you're going to get back out of it. You're not going to do nothing and get nothing. So just put that, keep that in mind. And there are a couple things on here that are just going to make you a little bit of pocket change. And that might be what you're looking for. So, um, here we go. Number one, is you can sell an ebook. Now you're thinking, how can I sell an ebook if I don't have an ebook? One, you can write your own ebook. Maybe you have really been passionate about um, health and fitness, but you really don't want to start a Facebook group or anything like that. You don't want to invest the time in doing that, but you have a lot to offer. So you decide to write an ebook that you just know is going to help people. Well, you can write the ebook and then go to Kindle publishing and have them publish it for you and then sell it on Amazon. Now, another thing you can do, maybe you have all these great ideas to write the book, but you don't really know how to put that book together. You're not really good at writing and editing and all that stuff and laying it out. Well, you can go to fiverr.com. I've got a link below and and hire a ghostwriter. They'll actually take the information you have and then put it into a book format for you and maybe even insert things and make it better. Um, it just depends on what you have when you go to Fiverr and you just have to do it, shop around a little bit. Um, and people will give you different quotes. So don't go to the first person that you see. Um, I've used Fiverr before and I'll say 90% of the time I've been very pleased. And there's just been a couple times that there was a communication gap and there was a lot of going back and forth. The neat thing is with using a company like that outsourcing is if you're not pleased with the product, you don't pay. Um, the company protects you and that's why you want to go through something, a program like that. They're freelancers. But all in all, I think you'll find somebody that can help you write that book. So that's definitely a great way to earn passive income. Now you're thinking, well, how's that passive? I got to do all this work. Like I said, you've got to put something into it before you get something out of it. So once you've written the book, you've even paid somebody to write the book, you get it onto Amazon and you start getting it out there to publish or to sell it and market it, most of the work is done. And once you have systems in place to market it that are automated, then it becomes passive income. Pretty cool, except when you wanna um, grab the check, right? Now, number two, number two, I don't know a lot about, but I'm gonna put a link of somebody who does. It's blue chip stocks. Blue chip stocks are, of course, you've gotta invest money in this. So if you've got a little bit of extra money sitting around, you might wanna look into it. And like I said, I'm gonna give introduce you to someone named Andre, um, YouTube channel. Um, I've got a link below, and he is pretty pretty much an expert in, in investing in blue chip stocks. So I definitely encourage you to watch him. But basically, you're, in, in, you're investing in Walmart, Disney, all those big companies that have been around forever. And yes, the stock might cost a little bit more, but you're pretty much guaranteed a return. So if you got some extra money, you can put aside. You're not really being risky. You're just putting into something that's been pretty successful. Give them your money. Now, I can't give you a list of ways to make money without saying YouTube. YouTube is my absolute favorite way of making money. And I do have a video at the end, five, um, how to, five ways to monetize um, yourself on YouTube. So go ahead and watch that video and you can really dig in and see. But definitely, the neat thing about YouTube is your videos are evergreen. They stay there. You can update like the search engine optimization and things like that. You can update your, um, freshen up your thumbnails. If you decide, you know, you want to go with a new brand, but the cool thing is they're always there. So if you're really good at answering people's questions and solving problems, and you're always, um, you have videos that people are searching for and you have ads on there, you're going to make money. And you know, one video might make 50 cents a week and the next one might make $9 a day. But if you've got hundreds of videos out there over a period of time, it just takes time to make them. But just keep keep on plugging along and the money will keep coming in. So definitely YouTube, I highly recommend it. Now, number four is something that you're probably not gonna make it a lot of money, but if you're a photographer and you're already taking pictures, then why don't you place your videos on or your pictures on a stock photo platform so that when people go to use them, you get paid money. Um, you're already doing something you're passionate about. You're having fun. So make a little bit of money on the side. If you're really good, you might make a lot of money, but 
put your put your photos out there um i'm gonna kind of call it 4b you do the same thing with music you can get your music out there and people will pay you to be able to use it number five is sell digital courses so if you've been um let's go back to the um person that wants to create an ebook about healthy eating and nutrition and fitness and things like that. Well, let's say that it has developed into more than that. Maybe um, you're getting a lot of people asking questions. And again, you don't want to do a Facebook group. You don't want to engage and do all that stuff. And that's fine. But maybe then you can make a digital course um, where you can train people. Maybe you've got different um, elements of the book that you wrote that you could turn them into videos and really encourage people and help them. You could even do one whole chapter on how to cook some healthy meals, uh, another whole chapter on um, some easy workouts that you can do. But see where that's going. You can make a whole big digital course. Now, some people will sell their courses for $27 and other people will sell a big lengthy course that they put a lot of thought into a thousand or two thousand dollars now obviously if you're brand new and you haven't made a name for yourself and, and people aren't watching you it's going to be harder to sell an expensive course but that's where you have to put the time in and build up an audience and you could do that with the ebook and you could do that um, from the audience that you get from that um the thing with digital courses it takes time to build the course, you want to really do a good job, but it does take time to market it and, and to get it out there in front of people. Because if people can't see it and they don't know about it, then they're not going to buy it. And number two, the neat thing about digital courses is you can go in and keep it fresh. You can update it and you can keep making it better. So even if you feel like the first course you made is only worth $297, if you keep building on it and making it bigger and bigger and bigger, you can gradually increase the price. And that's pretty, that's pretty cool with the digital courses. If you put it on a CD like the old times and mail it, you can't upgrade it. So this way, everybody who bought it at 297 gets to reap the benefits of how you upgrade it later. And I think that's pretty cool. Number six is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is when you are out referring other people's products. And for doing that, they give you a commission. Now, one of the easiest places to get started is Amazon. Amazon has an Amazon Associates program. They've got billions of viewers. So it's easy to start with them. All you have to do is fill out an application and you can make anywhere from four. The percents aren't super high. They're like four to 9% in general, um, but you can get started. It's free, but you have to promote the, the links, a special link on a website or something like that. You can't just throw it on your Facebook page. That's called spamming. So you definitely would want to get a website where people can come visit your storefront and see what you are selling. And what you might think, well, what do I put on my, my website? Well, you can just talk about products. You can do product reviews. I've seen people make whole websites and they're nothing but product re reviews. And people come in, they review the products, and when they hit that link and buy it, you make some money. Now you can go further and sell other people's digital courses. And a lot of times courses, they'll give you up to 50% of their profit. So it's a higher market, but it just depends on what you would prefer to promote. Now, I told you not everything was online, and I think everything was so far except the, the blue chips uh, stock, but rental properties. A lot of people don't think about rental properties um, as being a way to make a passive income, but my recommendation would be, my husband and I did this, you buy a duplex, and that way, um, get it ready, get it rented out, but if one of your renters move out, you still have the income coming in on the other side. So we have found that it's nice um, that you always have an income. We have another single home. That one, when a renter moved out, you know, it's like three or four weeks later until we have it ready for a renter again and we're losing money. So we really um, would never buy anything except a duplex or bigger from now on because you always have that income. Now, in the beginning, you may have to do your own work of keeping up maintenance and things like that. But as you build your business, you can start to hire a, a property manager or maintenance person and things like that. Um, but it is passive income. The money comes in. You're not sitting there day after day doing things. There's kind of like spurts of work that you have to do. But I, I highly would recommend that. And if you think about it, you're not the money coming in at first is probably paying for the property. It pays for itself, but think about it when it's paid off. It's an investment that's sitting there that you can, you know, sell it or just keep earning pure profit um, later when it's paid off. So those are seven different ways that you can make 
an income, a passive income, and I'll have more. I've got more videos. I actually have a playlist where I have passive income. I have that at the top here. You can go ahead and click that and then download my free business startup guide. I have that down in the description. Any business that you start up, you have to do these 12 steps. You have to, you know, file, um, know how to do your taxes and things like that. So that's all in the guide that I have below and it's, and it's free. All right. Thank you for watching. Before you check out go ahead and subscribe i would appreciate it and again thank you very much for watching my channel and i'll see you on the next video